Look at that pipe on top of the roof. Yeah, that is the laundry vent, which is located on the third floor. Okay, but that vent is right on top of the main entrance. There is nothing wrong with that. Yeah, other than the fact that it looks bad. No one wants to have a pipe right on top of their main entrance. All right, we can move it to the back where it won't be visible. That'll be great. Thank you. This is where this vent penetrates through the roof right now. And we are going to connect it to this bathroom vent. So let's move it. We started with putting two ABS lengths into the attic space and cutting the existing vent. You got to be careful when cutting a pipe that is skewered from both sides. Your saw might kick back. Just like cutting a piece of wood with your circular saw. If your blade gets tight, it's going to kick back. Then we dry fitted both pipes together to check for slope and direction of our first horizontal pipe. And strapped approximately at the end of the pipe, where we are going to cut it from. Then we added some additional support underneath the pipe and glued them together. Make sure that both pipe and fitting have enough glue on them. And when you insert the pipe into the fitting, turn it a quarter and hold it for a few seconds. In the next step, we dry fitted a 45 onto our next pipe to mark on our existing pipe and cut extra length from it. Then we dry fitted both pipes together to set slope and direction of the pipe. We are using half inch metal strap to secure the pipe. We made sure that the pipe is secured every 4 feet so that it will never sag. And whatever amount of rain water will come in this pipe won't accumulate in it. Then we glued both pieces of horizontal pipes together using a 45 fitting. By doing that, our laundry vent is almost reached the bathroom vent, where we will connect them together and penetrate one vent through the roof. We measured the center of our pipe from this 2x6 and added for slope we needed into that measurement to mark the center of the T on our bathroom vent, which is penetrating through the roof. Then we placed the center of the T on our mark and marked end of the hub and cut the vent pipe. Then we took that piece of vent pipe out and shortened it by 2 inches because D will add 2 inches into the pipe length. Then we put that piece of pipe back and glued both pipes together using a sanitary T. We made sure that the T is on 45 degree angle 
by putting a 45 in front of T's face. After that, we glued a 45 to a piece of pipe, which is longer than what we need to connect her laundry van to her team. Then we dry fitted other side of 45 onto her laundry van and marked with her thumbnail by putting it besides the T's hub and cut the extra length off. Then we dry fitted everything together to ensure the correct length. and finally glued everything together. By doing that, we were all done other than filling up the water test and check for leaks, which we did the next day after finishing the rest of the drainage work of the house. And luckily we had no leaks. Okay, now that looks way better. Now we have a clean sleek roof in front of the house. That's all for today's video. Make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel for more content. See you next time.